so far this is following the weather forecast. On a snowy day, more than 5,000 miles from home, two American lawyers and a cinematographer are filming a documentary in Yerevan. Lawyers tend not to be very good at telling their clients stories. Adam is a lawyer, but is filming a documentary about people being forced to vacate their houses in the center of Yerevan to make room to construct new luxurious buildings. He's convinced lawyers can use media technology to create media that will help people or organizations in their advocacy campaigns. That is why he started the New Media Advocacy Project. And there are lots of ways that lawyers could more effectively win their cases um, and win their advocacy campaigns um, through using media and visual storytelling. But often the, the professions are really uh, separated. Lawyers do law, they tell their clients stories in the courtroom or maybe in the offices of legislators. Um, but they're not good at telling their, their, their clients' stories in other ways. But often journalists, media professionals, uh, they do their thing. They often create media about human rights issues, but they don't really do advocacy, or they're not very good at it. So we try to really merge the, merge the two. Though the organization is based in the U.S., it does half of its work internationally. We work just in places as diverse as, as Haiti, uh, Nigeria, um, uh, all over Europe, all over Latin America, India. Uh, and now in the Caucasus, in Armenia and Georgia. Yeah, it's kind of a pilot project um, to experiment with how, uh, how we can use media to help NGOs and help lawyers uh, here do their work. And so we, the, the projects we started with were um, the, the issue of uh, evictions, uh, unlawful evictions, uh, and um, some other issues, like the, uh, we're working on a, a, a campaign about palliative care, uh, you know, the right to, to pain-killing medication, and also a project on, on gender-based violence. Videos like this one may be shown to government officials in courts such as the European Court of Human Rights and the general public. The audience varies, so does the weather and the city, but the mission is the same, to show the human side of a legal case.